back in on the Wednesday, and so, all right, what do you got? Well, I got some wine, and I've got some cheese. Um, I've got a, a couple of great wines uh, from Aspen down at Grizzly Liquor. Uh -huh. We've got a, a French Sauvignon Blanc that's yeah. a straight varietal from uh, southwest France. It's uh, Terrique, and it's... That's a white wine, Blanc. 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 Huh? It's white and huh? uh, Really? They've got this wine in down at Grizzly listening. Liquor. It's a great value. It's a great wine. It's very simple, yet very sophisticated. The mm -hmm. guy that makes this wine, it's the Grassa family, and they make the uh, Domaine de Puy that we loved earlier on uh, this summer. Mm -hmm. This is a great wine. And then I've also got a red blend. It's a Rhone-style wine. And in the Rhone Valley, the French wine laws allow them to use... Uh, many different varietals, but only those varietals as a blend. And there are French wine laws? Oh, yeah. There's there's wine laws. Well, but, you know, on our show, wine guy might wine no laws. rules. Wine laws. <laughs> yeah. Wine laws. But this is, this is the 14 Hands Hot to Trot Red Blend. I like the name. Well, yeah, it's and it's a great wine blend. You lo love the label. There's a nice couple horses on the label there. It's uh, Let me smell it. Can you, can you, aren't you supposed to do that? I'm supposed to smell Oh, that smells, that smells just like wine. Does it smell just like wine? <laughs> it's a beautiful wine. It's an easy drinking wine. It's very velvety, soft. It smells it's good. It's kind of a mocha finish. Right out of the gate, this smooth and easy drinking red wine immensely piques your interest with its enticing ruby color. Hmm. Your nose is drawn to the generous aromas of red ripe berries and dark stone fruits. At first sip, these fleshy flavors gallop across your tongue in perfect wow. harmony. Balanced by soft and velvety tannins and finished with just a hint of mocha. There, smell yeah, it smells good. It smells good, doesn't it? It yeah, has it does. nuances it so of plum and cherry in it. I it's like it's a delicious wine. Your thing. That sounds that sounds good. So I'm uh, actually going to taste a couple of these Mike's wines. Taste Unfortunately, these. Scott and Paul are We cannot taste them because, you know. But I'm going to serve them but some stinky blue cheese right now. now. I'm gonna you say got two this. different kinds of cheese? Now, what's the deal? I have two different kinds of cheese. you I've came in this morning, opened this up, and it just reeked of nasty. But it's so beautiful. It's pungently beautiful. Pungently beautiful. <laughs> you try it. I, is that a you word? Try you, it. you try it. But here's, okay, I'm going to give this to Scott. We've got a smoked okay. blue from the Rogue Creamery. Wait a minute. Okay. This is from our friend Tom oh, Van Borges over at the Rogue Creamery in Medford, Oregon. Is it just, does it taste better than it smells, Mike? It, it's delicious. It's, it's got a beautiful Come smoky Come on, cowboy glass. up. And I'm trying some of this white wine from Grizzly Liquor right <laughs> now. Smells the smells Cowboy up. I don't know. That is a great white wine. I love this. And I'm gonna... He has this funny look on his oh, face. Oh, no, you gotta try it. That's awesome. Eat some of it. Paula, Paula is gonna, we're gonna force feed. No, Paula I want the other kind. Cheese. Okay. Yeah, what kind is this one? That's really good. Well, my mouth full. This is the uh, Caveman Blue. This is a different blue cheese. It's kind of spreadable, it's got some great crystal like qualities to <laughs> it. Nice, cho I'm choking <laughs> on my cracker. Well now, done. Which of these two is milder? <laughs> Neither. They're, neither both, one, they're both pretty strong. That one I tried, not mild at all. <laughs> and this one has some it's good, though. vanilla I'm nuances to it. This is great cheese. I'm going to give Paula some. Okay. Right now. All right. Now, what's this called? Caveman? This is Caveman no, Blue caveman. from Rogue Creamery. And Scott, here's, a, here's some for you. Now, not until she tries right. the other nasty thing. Oh, she's making a nasty face. What is that? But see, you got to wait. Wait. Wait, wait for, it. for it. Wait And unfortunately, for it. you guys don't have the opportunity that I have right now to pair this with these great wines yeah. that I've selected this morning. And what's the wine do to the how does that? How does that work? You know, they complement one another. They bring out the beautiful nuances of each other yeah. in the cheese and in the wine itself. And that's the whole idea of pairing. Okay. And on my blog now, I over the weekend, I've got a uh, huge wine and uh, cheese pairing chart for white wines, red wines, sparkling wines, dessert wines, that'll be of a lot of value to our uh, fans here at the ranch audience. So. Right. And, you know, I think you're seeing a lot of times for folks that entertain, you know, the traditional thing is you used to get people together and have a sit-down dinner, but no. more often you're seeing folks invite friends over and do, you know, wine and cheese and fruit and maybe a dessert and having more of a, more of a social hors d'oeuvre type of setting than a big sit-down dinner type of thing. Don't yeah. you think, Mike? I, I think that's for entertaining. In the summertime, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and really, I'm sitting here thinking about how I'm two fisting the wine this morning. I know, that I like is that. impressive. I, I've got a Sauvignon Blanc in yeah. one hand that I love, and a red blend in the other hand. And, and a these pile are, of stinky cheese in front of you. And I would really encourage everybody to go to our uh, 
fan pages and look at the links uh, for the blog posts this morning. Yeah. These are great wines they're going to love. They're so can we get these cheeses locally? Yes, at the Good Try that blue cheese okay. because it really is good. I'm yep. not lying to you. Yeah, these... I, I thought the one I had was delicious. Okay, the we'll try the blue one. I will, I will. Give me a second. I'm letting my palate recover. And I'm going to try <laughs> another recover. little bit of the smoke right. blue with this. Yeah. Yeah. Mike just over here. This is with the Sauvignon Blanc. So, you, you so can tell I'm in my element here. You've got these this. cheeses at the good food store. Yes. And you go down to Grizzly Liquor and get the wine. Absolutely. And um, and these I would, are I would from... recommend some Braber and apples because, oh, yeah. like this uh, spreadable caveman blue cheese, I love to take that cheese and spread it on a Braber and uh, apple slice, yeah. and it's heaven. I mean, really? Yeah. You know that with a glass of wine and some crackers, you got a meal. It's a, it's a great. Good to go. This is a whole new world right here. Yeah. That's what we're all about on the Wine Guy Mike show, huh? I'm try it, man. I'm try it. So without, well, probably with putting you on the spot, because I wasn't going who, where is the best collection of cheese in town? Or does well, it depend on what you're looking for? You know, my friends at Tagliari, the Italian deli, they've got some great mm -hmm. cheeses. Uh -huh. um, so I, and I, I probably shop there and the good food store. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. So you can get these specific these ones if you're curious. These are both at the good food store. And right. And I'm going to uh, talk with the uh, cheesemonger down there, uh -huh. uh, who's a short little old lady, and she, Ingr I believe it's Sigrid is her name, mm -hmm. and she is extremely knowledgeable in right. her cheeses. And I'm going to encourage her to bring some more of the Rogue Creamery cheeses in, because they've got um, a huge variety of cheeses from there. And, you know, they're just one of the best cheesemakers in the world, really, right. as far and as And if I'm you go into Aspen, if you, if you take a cheese that you like, and you go into Aspen and you say, I need something that goes with this. She can probably help you out. She'll know exactly what wines. Don't walk into a wines. box of Velveeta. No. But uh, if you, now seriously, these cheeses, if you like a kind of a strong, mm -hmm. uh, are, are these like a blue cheese? I mean, is that what they're considered? They're a blue vein Both cheese. A they blue are. vein. Yeah. And um, yeah, so if you are uh, like that kind of stuff, you want to be sure yeah, to check it. that out. And pair it with a wine if you haven't done that before. Well, because and they don't have to love blue cheeses. They can go to the Wine Guy Mike uh, blog mm -hmm. and we've got all the cheese and wine pairing all different now. sorts of things so there's many mild cheeses see i love mild there's, like breeze i love breeze and, and all I of like, that you know, and all of that information that has been stuff. built in there this weekend for all our right. fans so all right good Great. and that's uh that's uh through uh wine guy mike it's the blog it's the, the blog wine guy mike dot wordpress dot com and they can get that link this morning on either our uh, ranch fan page uh -huh. or the wine guy mike fan page cool. okay so go through facebook and get those and uh Plan on checking it out. All right, I want to try some more of that. All right. All right, got to try some more of that. But get those and try it out. All right, it is the Wine Guy Mike segment. Every Wednesday, we try to bring you a little culture, people. All right, consider All yourself right. cultured, and um, there you go. Happy All Wine right. Wednesday. <laughs> it's uh, brought to you by Lolo Creek Steakhouse and everybody down at Grizzly Liquor.